St. Petersburg, oh, Florida. Okay. The Holocaust Museum um, is having a grand opening of um, our exhibit called um, uh, This is uh, the Anne, it's Anne, another the Anne, Anne Frank, Frank event. event. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, this is me. That's opening on uh, January 29th, excuse me, uh, 25th uh, from 7 to 9. And that will uh, remain for a year. Mm-hmm. And the people that are working very hard in Manhattan at the Anne Frank Center for Mutual Respect have been um, supporting the Southeast to start as a focal point. Well, and you know your efforts for women and young women and young girls uh, have spanned quite a few years. I mean, gosh, you were involved in, uh, is it the Global Peace Initiative of Women, uh, again in Africa? And we were talking earlier today about uh, helping to see a dormitory built for 200 beds for young women in Africa to go to school, to be educated. I mean, that is a broad spectrum reach that you're putting out there in the world to help girls especially, but also help children of, of both genders, I mean, kids in general, but especially something that touches so many girls across the world. Um, do you see uh, new horizons? Do you think you'll, you'll stay focused on the U.S. and stay focused on Africa as an initiative, or are there other countries that you'd like to spread into? You do so much already, but... Well, Africa is a very large continent, yes. and so we are uh, working with um, uh, countries within Africa. Uh, Uganda, of course, mm-hmm. is one that's near and dear to my heart because I've been spending the last 14 years going there, um, supporting what you were just uh, indicating, um, a girls' um, dormitory, but I've been supporting a, a nursery school and a vocational school uh, specifically um, in a little town called Kasubi that's right outside of Entebbe. Um, the, uh, the vocational school has five disciplines, and they've had um, in residence about 86 children, um, boys and girls, that pay into their, um, their next steps in life, so they're investing in themselves. They're 18 to 21. We have um, certificate and diploma programs certified, um, so they're able to be career ready. Um, We've been expanding that to um, uh, additional disciplines. We've included agriculture, but not just teaching how to farm. We actually uh, have a a women's center that we're teaching women how to administer um, uh, agriculture. How to management and... Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, So I'm, you know, helping... Just behind the scenes, overseeing um, the little tidbits that they may need as they're uh, supporting themselves and becoming self-sustaining with some guidance. Uh, but little things like, you know, getting that big tub, what do you call that, um, you know, for uh, harvesting rainwater uh-huh. that doesn't cost that much, but it is a necessary item that they're missing. Um, and then uh, supporting some of the girls that um, are not able to afford to stay in school Um, and ensuring that they're able to continue their education. And it's only, and I say only, um, but everything's relative. But the tuition for one one girl for a semester is about $300 U.S. Hmm. Uh, So I've been trying to support, you know, three to five girls a year um, and also bringing forward the infrastructure change so 10 years ago, I put this uh, proposal out into the world, um, not understanding what may come of it. And uh, last year, when I went back in July, um, all the sisters, and this is a parish-run community, um, so the nuns had, you know, got all giddy and couldn't wait to, <laughs> to grab me and give me flowers and, and put a blindfold on and, and uh, drive me out into the middle of, of nowhere in some field and and point at these uh, the, these bricks and, and some straw <laughs> and uh, sort of looking like buildings, almost like a demolition was already there, not that it was <laughs> in construction. Um, I started to cry. It was amazing. The money came, um, and they were under construction, and we, I, they, I, we have the library, the Women's Resource Center, a girls' dormitory that will house 200 
And so, of course, the first thing I did was, instead of being so grateful, <laughs> I said, where's my sports field? <laughs> and they pointed. <laughs> um, so, yeah, fruit to nuts, everything that was included in that uh, proposal had um, come to fruition and is now being completed. So wow. I was back in no, December, early December. The roofs were on the buildings. The dormitory is almost completed. The windows are going in. It's incredible. So now it'll be fun to go call on my friends and say, hey, you want to have a tea party and let's, um, you know, design the inside. The interiors, right? Exactly. You know, we need beds and we need, you know, bedding and anything. Dressers that, and Exactly. And that's so and much easier than asking somebody for 10 or $20 million. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> to me, that would be more fun. Um, but incorporating that work in my daily life and trying to teach my children, you know, um, to look outside the, their own self, I think is really paramount. And, you know, I'm glad that I'm able to uh, pay attention and, and to stay involved in some of these activities. Sure. And they're just life changing. It's so nice. I mean, we all work in entertainment. And one of the things we haven't touched on with you, because I'm fascinated by all the good that you're doing in the world, we've also not touched on all the entertainment work that you're working on. You've put together film packages and financing packages to make independent films, and you've got just a lot of those irons in the work, in the works, but you are always looking with a sense of purpose. It's interesting to, interesting to see you weave that into your work, even if you're doing a commercially viable yeah, feature I'm film. too old to not make sure that I'm uh, being careful when I'm picking and choosing. Um, to ensure that it, it does have a purpose and a meaning, and, and maybe it'll change somebody, hopefully for the good. Sure. Um, but that's what I do. Uh, we were talking about writing and technical writing, but um, I, I'm a packaging agent, I guess, for lack of a better term, uh, for television and film. And so I do put um, full packages together uh, and have moved uh, several projects forward to uh, various um, groups. And you persevere. Oh, my goodness. You were working on a big project out of Puerto Rico and Hurricane Irma hit. And you have continued to kind of keep it alive and nurture it along to see where it will end up and will it actually go back to Puerto Rico. And then Puerto Rico got hit by hurricanes. My goodness, they've had a terrible time down there. Uh, Bullfighter on the Green is what you're referring to. Mm -hmm. And and I'm thrilled to report um, that uh, it is a film that, that we brought back forward. Um, we did have to, um, we had a waiting period um, to be able to unencumber um, with some of the, you know, uh, things that you had had mentioned um, and shifting location and that sort of thing. But it's a story about Chichi Rodriguez and using him um, as, a, as a centerpiece to tell a beautiful story, not just about a professional athlete and a proud Puerto Rican American who served in the army, mm-hmm. um, and then was and told he couldn't phase, right? <laughs> play in the Riders' Cup, and that's what got my attention. Um, and I've repeated that story a few times, but uh, he's an incredible gentleman. He is a gentleman. He's as funny as I'll get out. He's vital. Uh, he is like Milton Berle and Drag. You know? <laughs> um, and we are bringing that to Sarasota County. Wonderful. Um, with support. Well, we can't wait. We were happy to hear that, and we we're happy to help that. And uh, you've got other projects in the works. I know there's another couple of uh, feature films, independent feature films, that you're moving along. And uh, I've identified um, three projects that would fit um, for the local area um, because of, of uh, budgetary and also wanting to incorporate um, a student experience and working with the local colleges. It's great, and we have we still have here in Sarasota County, Florida. We still have a cash rebate program, and it is modest, but we we are so grateful for the support of government, our elected officials, that they see the benefit of having this kind of entertainment come to our community. The jobs, the high tech, the high skill, the high wages, but also the press and the publicity, and it helps tourism. It really is a big, big package, and you have been a very, very. Uh, enthusiastic and very appreciated supporter of the efforts of the film commission for quite a while you're on my advisory council and i am and you've been we've been working on different things and and seeing you move mountains for at least the last four or five years that i'm aware of if not longer 
So I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. Will you come back again and give us an update in the future? Be my pleasure. (laughs) That would be great. And Irene, I thank you for being with us, and I thank you for all the efforts you put forward on behalf of young women around the globe as well as children of both genders around the globe and what you do not only for um, our local and statewide efforts but for your global efforts. They're pretty impressive. Thanks. Thank you for the warm welcome, and everybody come out and see uh, Tracy Reiner and Ann Ramsey and Patty Pelton and Maybelle Blair and Sue Zappé and uh-huh. Shirley Berkowitz. <laughs> the real. The on real, February 1st. The real woman baseball players that inspired the Georgia Peaches, right? Uh, Rockford. Rockford Peaches. What is well? Georgia Peaches are pretty good, too. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> and to all of you listening out there, thanks for being with us. Tell your friends to listen to Entertain You, and you'll meet more amazing people like Irene Gottlieb and our other guests that were so privileged and proud to bring to the airwaves. Thanks for being out there. Listen next time. Bye for now. I want to thank you for listening. I'm Jeannie Corcoran, your Sarasota County, Florida Film Commissioner. And if you want to get a hold of me, you can go to www.filmsarasota.com or you can call us toll-free from wherever you are at 888-765-5777 extension 104. We're easy to get a hold of. And we like email. You can email us at info at filmsarasota.com. And we check all of our email. If you don't hear back from us right away, it's not that we haven't gotten it, but we might have a computer glitch. Uh, I hate to admit it, but it happens a lot. We've had emails that disappear for a month. We've had phone messages that disappear for two months, but they show up eventually. So we will get a hold of you. Or you can get a hold of us, ask us questions, and if we can help you, we will. And if we can't, maybe we can steer you in a good direction to somebody who will help you. And that's it for me. I'm Jeannie Corcoran, and you've been listening to entertain you on the Radio Ear Network, and this is the Society Bites Network of Programs. Thanks for listening. Talk to you again soon.